Plus, the dangers of sitting disease ahead in HealthSmart, a closer look at the growing condition and how you can combat it at home or in the office. In tonight's Health Smart, could you be suffering from sitting disease? Tonight, our Lou Parker takes a closer look at why you should take steps to combat this growing affliction. The body is made to be dynamic, to be moving. It is the warning from experts that probably won't sit well with many. Sitting disease is back pain as a result of the long hours that we sit, whether with work that we have, schools that we attend, the commute that we do each and every day. It's not just about spending your days idle at a desk or in a car. According to a recent report, even those who exercise daily may still suffer from sitting disease. So prolonged amounts of sitting just affects our physiology, our metabolism, creates effects that the body wouldn't otherwise have to deal with. So we start to see changes in, in, in blood pressure. We start to see changes in, in, in blood sugar levels. And so from that, then situations like diabetes can be promoted, heart disease can be promoted. Another ugly side to sitting pretty. If there is enough pressure put across the spine, you're going to see those discs get compressed and get compressed. And what can happen if it's been a long enough period of time or a great enough degree, you can get things that will herniate or bulge out like they are demonstrated right here. Well, it's not really a disease. I think it's a pretty good term to make people aware. For Vicki Cito, working from home means she's in the hot seat for sitting disease. When I wake up, I get ready for work, walk about 20 feet to my desk, and I plop myself down, and then I pretty much live in that chair until it's time to get going in the car, which is more sitting. But relief does not have to be complicated, and according to doctor of chiropractic Andrew Hay, it should not be an afterthought. The scientific community has brought this to our attention and says, okay, if this is truly the case that it is, we need to take measures to try and be as preventative as we can be. Loosen the legs while you're sitting at your desk. Start with simple stretches. Extend one leg out as straight as you can. You want to hold that position for a couple seconds. From there, we're going to ask you to raise that leg up as high as you can. Yep, hold that for a couple more seconds. Go ahead and relax it down. I'm going to do the same thing with this side here. Another uh, option to do at the desk is to relax the back. And so again, Vicki, if you would get to the edge of the seat there for me. And what I'll have you do is just want to bring your, your chest, your head down towards your knees. And you want to just let those arms relax towards the floor. If you don't want to take this healthy, smart sitting down, Haig suggests making small changes in your work routine, like having walking meetings or stand while you eat lunch. Actually burn 30% more calories while you're standing instead of just sitting. So a little, little bonus on that. And if you find it a little tricky to remember to move, set an alarm on your phone to ping you by using this formula. 28-2 rule, if you will. And that says that for every 20 minutes that you're sitting, we want you to get up for eight minutes. We want you to move around for another two. And if you're experiencing minor back pain, getting regularly adjusted by a chiropractor like those at the joint, it may be a non-surgical solution. For HealthSmart, I'm Lou Parker.